New this morning, now that the sun is up, emergency crews are getting their first real look at the damage from a violent tornado that tore through Missouri's state capital overnight. CBS 2 Sophia Dumani is live here in the studio with a closer look at the severe weather outbreak and the threats that still remain for several states this morning. Well, flash flood warnings are still in place across much of southwestern Missouri, where we know this most recent tornado outbreak has killed at least three people. Now, these are just some of the early pictures coming in from the damage. Rescues are also underway right now in Jefferson City and in surrounding areas. So as the storms move on, severe weather threats still exist across much of the heartland. In Oklahoma, flooding is now considered their biggest problem. Drainage systems are being overwhelmed by days of rain and in Oklahoma City, police are going door to door warning people who live near this lake that water could be coming their way. This is if we get any torrential more rain, uh, there's a possibility that the, the dam could bust. That's also the concern in eastern Kansas. The Army Corps of Engineer is now considering releasing some water of the dam into a nearby river to relieve the pressure from an overflowing reservoir. But people who live downstream are concerned that means their homes will get flooded. So in total, seven people have died as a result of this weather system. Severe storms are expected to continue in this area this morning. For a closer look at what's ahead, let's send it to Nate Larson, who's tracking the projected path of these storms.